Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Regine. Thank you for watching. I'm a visual multimedia artist and filmmaker from the Twin Cities. First day of the winter slash spring art session. Cold as I don't know what out here. Trying not to fall. Vlog, I'm just taking you through my usual setup, class instruction, and other things um, as I teach youth art sessions. So this particular session was, you know, winter, winter, spring kind of, but mostly winter because it was very cold outside when I when I actually shot this. But I'm just taking you through, you know, a few of the activities I did with the youth. So this one that you're seeing is vision affirmation boards. So um, with this age group, it was pretty much, you know, 10 year olds to 12 year olds who did this activity. And this is the first activity. So I'll just run you guys through them. Class down. Why is it warmer out here than it was when I first came here? Now I'm off to the gym. So the next activity that I did with the youth was acrylic pouring. Acrylic pouring is the all time most popular activity that I do with my teaching art sessions. I always make sure I do this activity at least once when I'm doing a cohort of sessions. So with Eastside and with the other, um, you know, nonprofits or individuals that I, I work with when I teach or I contract with, sometimes they provide the materials and sometimes I provide the materials. So for this um, cohort of sessions, it was half and half. So for this session, I, I reused the same paint that I used from my previous art sessions that I taught. And a lot of the materials that I get are from the dollar store because art supplies is very expensive and it's very expensive to buy, you know, 15, 16, 20 things of paint at Michael's or Joanne. So the dollar store is my best bet. That's where I got all these supplies from and the kids had a blast. The next session I did was upcycling clothes, which is just, you know, decorating, being creative with clothes, pants, whatever type of item the kids wanted to paint with. So these next few images are of another session that I did around the same time. It was with Minnesota 4-H. It's called Metro Art Force. I did this session last year and then this year we had it in person. I actually worked for Minnesota 4-H um, this time last year. And this year they contacted me again and say, hey Regine, would you like to do this again? And I said, yeah, sure. It was fun last year. So this year I did, um, a, a sip and paint kind of so I just um, outlined a design on one of the canvases and then on the other ones there's blank canvases where kids can have a free paint so the kids did a little bit of each some of them chose the design I drew and some of them wanted to use their own creativity and draw what they want to draw so that you can see that here um, and then someone drew an eye so that was really cool so you could just really see the kids creativity comes to life so that was that image is one that i pre-draw pre-drew so it was just really fun doing this activity it was like probably about two hours long and this is just kids um from ramsey county yeah so that's just a few of the art sessions that i've done Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. You can find more information and details about all these sessions on my website. 